It's been just over a week since the state's green light law went into effect. It allows undocumented immigrants to get New York driver's licenses. Under the new law, it blocks some federal agencies' access to New York DMV records. Rebecca Fath here to explain why one local police department says this is a problem. She joins us now live. Rebecca. Yeah, law enforcement officials are signing agreements promising not to give information about DMV to certain federal agencies. Now, the Gates Police Department did sign, but they were not happy about it. Police Chief James Van Brederode showed us this letter from the Office of the Governor, which says... If you want to keep your computer, you have to sign this agreement that you're not going to share any of that data with those guys from the federal agencies, right? ICE, Border Patrol. There are about 500 police departments in New York State, Van Brederode says, and Van Brederode adds his department didn't want to sign any of this. We could have called them out on, okay? We, we could have got the 300 departments to say, yeah, we're not signing it. Come get it out of our cars and we will totally cripple the state. Police tell us they need to access DMV records, so they felt they had no choice but to sign. If they don't, they won't be able to scan license plates or write tickets. Those are the records when we're driving around. I, say I go to a car accident, right? Very few people carry all their paperwork with them, right? They might have their license with them, but they don't have the registration. They don't have the insurance card. So we run your plate through the computer, and it gives me all the information, and it also tells me if it's valid. The New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services shared this statement with News 8. We continue to get certified agreements. As of yesterday afternoon, there were 59 agencies that have not signed. The deadline to sign was Saturday, January 11th. Agencies that did not submit signed agreements by that date had their access to DMV photo revoked. Agencies that subsequently signed and returned agreements had access restored. A spokesperson for the ACLU of New York spoke with us today, and she says law enforcement having to agree to not share DMV information isn't hurting anybody. We think that the response by law enforcement to the legislation itself is not necessarily a surprise, but what we do understand is that the safety precautions put into place to limit the accessibility by law enforcement and access by ICE of the um, driver's license information and personal identities of undocumented individuals is absolutely crucial to ensuring that the legislation itself is going to be implemented effectively. Ben Bredero didn't fight back because he says he feels the public would have paid the price. In Rochester, Rebecca Fath, News 8. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Now, supporters of the new law say allowing ICE to access the information would keep people from legally applying for driver's licenses.